They say Bigfoot hides in the woods, but what if it hides by becoming the shadows themselves? Deep in the forest where sunlight struggles to penetrate, something lurks. Something ancient, something unseen. Eyewitnesses tell stories of impossible encounters, of a creature that defies logic. They say it walks among us, but it's not what you think. It's not just hiding in the trees. It becomes the shadows. Get ready to question everything you thought you knew about Bigfoot as we delve into the world of shadow creatures and the terrifying reality of interdimensional travel. The crisp autumn air crackled with a strange energy as John ventured deeper into the woods. He'd hunted these trails countless times, but today an unsettling silence hung heavy in the air. The late afternoon sun cast long, dancing shadows, making him feel like he was being watched. John froze, his heart pounding. He knew that sound. Something big was out there. Cautiously, he raised his rifle, peering through the trees. And then he saw it, a towering figure, half hidden in the shadows, covered in thick, dark hair, Bigfoot. John had always dismissed the stories as folklore. But here it was, standing no more than 50 yards away, its eyes dark and intelligent, locking onto his. He felt the wave of primal fear wash over him, but he couldn't look away. As the creature moved, something impossible happened. Its form began to shimmer, like heat rising off the forest floor. John rubbed his eyes, thinking he was imagining things, but the creature's outline continued to blur his solid form dissolving into a swirling mass of darkness. John watched in stunned silence as the shadow creature slithered across the ground, becoming one with the forest. He lowered his rifle, his hands trembling. What had he just witnessed? Was it a trick of the light or something more sinister? John stumbled back to his truck, the once familiar woods now filled with an oppressive dread. He knew he couldn't tell anyone what he had seen. They'd never believe him. But he also knew that he'd never forget the day that he encountered the shadow Bigfoot, a creature that existed between worlds, a being of both flesh and shadow. Why do you think a Bigfoot would shimmer and transform into a shadow person? Could it be that they're interdimensional creatures? Or could it just be a trick of the light? Let me know what you think in the comments. This next story is another story about shadow people and Bigfoot. Mount Shasta, a place steeped in myth and legend, where the veil between worlds seemed to thin. David, an experienced hiker, never gave much credence to the tales of strange creatures and otherworldly phenomena. But one evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the mountain, he had an encounter that shattered his skepticism. David was hiking a familiar trail. The forest bathed in an orange glow when he noticed movement at the edge of his vision. A shadow, larger than any human, was moving with purpose through the trees. At first it seemed like a trick of the light, but as he focused, he realized it was something more. The edges of the shadow were blurred, indistinct, as if it was phasing in and out of existence. David's heart pounded in his chest as the shadow began to solidify, taking on a more defined form. Before his disbelieving eyes, it materialized into a massive creature covered in dark hair, Bigfoot. But unlike any he had seen in pictures or heard described in stories, this creature seemed to emanate from the shadows themselves. It stood there, just beyond the tree line, its deep reflective eyes locked onto David's. He felt a wave of awe and terror wash over him, a sense of being in the presence of something ancient and powerful. Time seemed to stand still as they observed each other, man and creature, separated by a thin veil of reality. Then, as quickly as it had appeared, the creature began to fade, its edges blurred, its form becoming less distinct, until it was once again a shadow, 
melting back into the trees. David was left alone, breathless, with the lingering feeling that he had just witnessed something truly extraordinary. He returned to his life, but the encounter on Mount Shasta changed him. He no longer dismissed the strange and unexplained. He knew that there were things in this world, and perhaps others, that defied logic and understanding. He had seen a creature that walked between worlds, a being of both shadow and flesh, and he knew that the mysteries of Mount Shasta ran deeper than he could have ever imagined. There's a trend from the first story in this one about blurring lines where everything starts to become shadow. Why do you think these Bigfoot are becoming shadow people? Is this a shift into another dimension? Or was it really just a trick of the light like he thought it might have been? Keep in mind that I've heard native people tell me that the Bigfoot know how to melt into the shadows and become shadows. So if a Bigfoot can become a shadow entity or a shadow person, what are shadow people? Here's another strange story of a Bigfoot becoming a shadow person. The Pine Barrens of New Jersey, a place whispered about in hushed tones, a land of folklore and chilling legends. While the Jersey Devil often takes the center stage, another, more elusive creature lurks within the shadowy depths. Late one fall afternoon, Tom, a seasoned hunter intimately familiar with the barrens, winding trails, and dense thickets, felt a prickle of unease. The unusual symphony of nature had fallen silent, replaced with an eerie stillness. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the forest in shadows of twilight, Tom decided to head back. But then something caught his eye. A shadow, impossibly tall and broad, stood motionless among the trees. At first, Tom dismissed it as a trick of the fading light. But this shadow was different. It seemed to pulsate with an unnatural awareness. Its form, undeniably humanoid, yet distinctly alien. A shiver ran down Tom's spine. He'd heard the whispers of something large, something otherworldly, lurking in these woods. But he had always been a man of logic, dismissing such tales as folklore. Now, faced with the impossible, his skepticism crumbled. He watched, frozen in place, as the towering figure began to distort. Its edges blurred, its solid form dissolving into the surrounding darkness. It was as if the creature were merging with the very shadows, becoming one with the ancient forest. Tom's mind reeled, struggling to comprehend what he was witnessing. He had seen it with his own eyes, a creature of flesh and blood transforming into a shadow, slipping between the trees as if it stepped into another dimension. The encounter left an indelible mark on Tom. He continued to explore the wilderness, but the pine barrens held a new, unsettling significance. The memory of the shadow creature, a being that defied explanation, haunted his thoughts. A constant reminder of the mysteries that lie hidden just beyond our perception. He knew deep down that the creature was still out there, a silent observer, forever watching from the shadows, waiting to step back out into our reality. common trend that I notice in a lot of paranormal stories is the eerie silence that seems to happen. Imagine if you were trying to shift out of this reality to another, but when you did it, it generated a field around where you're doing it, which made sound waves no longer be able to reach you. A field of silence. You hear in a lot of paranormal stories that everything goes silent, including the bugs, including the wind, everything. What if it's because you're no longer fully part of this realm or reality? Or do you think that it's possible that it's just coincidence and everything happened to go silent at that moment? Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this an actual clue of what's going on or is it just a coincidence? This next story is another alleged encounter with Bigfoot transforming into a shadow. The Pacific Northwest a realm of ancient forests where mist-shrouded trees reach for the sky, concealing secrets as old as time. Sam, a seasoned outdoorsman, sought solace in these woods, finding peace in their solitude. 
But on this particular trip, a sense of foreboding hung heavy in the air. As dust settled over his secluded campsite, an unsettling awareness crept over Sam. He felt watched, a primal instinct warning him of an unseen presence. Shadows danced at the edge of the firelight, their movements seeming almost deliberate. A tall, lean shadow flickered between the trees, its silent grace unlike any animal he knew. Sam's flashlight pierced the darkness but revealed nothing. He tried to rationalize his fear, but the feeling of being observed intensified. Another movement, closer this time. The shadow emerged again, its form barely discernible in the fading light. Sam's heart pounded against his ribs, a cold sweat clinging to his skin. He retreated to his tent, seeking refuge from the unseen observer, but the feeling of dread persisted. He lay in the darkness listening to the symphony of the night. Every rustle of the leaves sending shivers down his spine. Then, through the thin nylon of his tent, he saw it. A towering figure silhouetted against the faint moonlight stood just feet away. Its form was humanoid, yet distorted. Its presence radiating an otherworldly aura. Sam held his breath, paralyzed with fear, as the shadow began to transform. It didn't flee. It didn't attack. Instead, it seemed to melt into the earth, its form dissolving into a dark pool that seeped back into the forest. Sam lay awake until dawn, the image of the shifting shadow seared into his memory. He packed his gear and fled the woods, the encounter leaving an indelible mark on his soul. The Pacific Northwest, once a sanctuary, now held a sinister undertone. He knew, with chilling certainty, that the shadow creature still lurked within those ancient trees, a being that transcended the boundaries of our reality, forever watching from the shadows. Why do you think they feel intense fear when it comes to encounters with these entities? Do you think the intense fear could be because a certain form of energy that is unknown to us that freaks us out? Or do you think the fear that they feel is because Whatever it is, is actually generating an evil energy or has evil intentions. Let me know what you think in the comments. This story reminds me of a story that my ex told me. She was in one of the planes traveling to a village here in Alaska, and she saw a shadowy figure walking on the tundra. And she was watching it. They were getting ready to land. It was a few miles out of town, and she saw this shadowy figure just walking. And it noticed her looking at it, like it could feel her watching it, and it looked up at her, and then it melted into the ground, like into a shadow. It was a black shadow initially, but it turned into something that melted into the ground, and she just saw a little black thing slithering across the ground, as if it changed form somehow. I've heard stories of things coming out of the ground, and things melting into shadows. And it seems like Bigfoot may have some type of ability to go into a state of matter that makes them appear as shadow people. In previous stories, I talked about people becoming shadow people, then returning back to the physical world, physical flesh. I even read old native stories about a guy that was taken by the Kakushka, the Otter Man, and he was a shadow person. He tried to go back to his village, but when he went to his village, nobody could see him. They just saw a shadow man, a shadow figure. And he was, um, and, the, and the way they brought him back to this world was by putting iron in fish because he was so hungry he was trying to eat. And when he ate that, when he tried to eat the fish and was touching the metal, it pulled him out of the shadows back to flesh. And it made me think, is it possible that this shadow state or the shadow verse is a place that things can hide like phasing out of this reality and being in a certain state of matter where you're not fully here but you're partially here and for some reason when you're there you appear as a shadow what do you think do you think that this is an actual place an actual phenomenon that could happen to anybody perhaps some missing people accidentally fall into this altered state of reality and they don't know how to come back Maybe there's natural anomalies in nature that you could walk through and enter this altered state of matter or altered state of reality. 
where you're basically walking into the Shadowverse. If you like the shirt I'm wearing, this is on my merch shop. This is of a Bigfoot with my logo Xenohunter on it. If you like this channel, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching the video. This is good to be talk. Peace out.